Hey guys, so I'm coming on here because I have quite a few things to share. One, I want to share a vision I had last night uh, in between dreams. And this vision was, it was very stormy looking outside and I saw a whole bunch of waves just kind of going back and forth like this, like stormy waves out in the middle of the ocean. Or, well, I don't know where exactly in the ocean, but I didn't see shore in this vision, so just in the ocean. And I, I saw what looked, I know it's going to sound funny, like Legos. It looked kind of like Legos floating on top of the, like, large, giant Legos. And I woke up and I was talking to my husband about it, and I was like, and he said the same thing before I even had a chance to say it, as we were thinking of cargos. Um, like shipping containers and stuff like that that were just kind of scattered over the ocean water floating so that's all I saw with that vision um, but I just wanted to share that and also I had an interesting dream last night that during it and even right after I didn't think it really was anything um, if anything at first I thought it was like not good and what was revealed to me while I was speaking it out loud and telling my husband about it was there was actually, it, it was very good. So um, basically how my dream went was I was with my husband and he was investigating something and um, I went off on my own. And there was a scene where I see this woman sitting down at this little table by herself and she looked absolutely miserable and I walked up and I just I kept laughing and I couldn't stop laughing and I'm sitting down and I'm like what's wrong and I'm sitting there laughing and you know she's talking about all these things and I don't remember the exact conversation I just remember that I, like I couldn't stop laughing and uh and so we'll go back to that. Otherwise, I'll start losing where I'm at. Then the scene shifts. I get up. And I don't know if these two girls were her daughters or just two random older teenage girls. And they were walking around. And I walked up to them antagonizing them. And I started picking a fight with them. And when they started manifesting uh, these, uh, all this, um, you know, just aggression and bitterness, which you would expect when someone comes and antagonizes you, uh, I started fighting both of them. And at one point I ran and with one jump, I ran up to this car and with one jump I jumped and landed on top of the car and everyone in the crowd like there were people around here and there uh, dispersed and they were like well I don't want nothing to do with this lady like and I woke up and I was like what was that like <laughs> that's horrible like was I just you know being cocky and why was I picking a fight with these girls and why was I laughing at that lady, you know, instead of sitting down being compassionate with her? And I was talking about, like, when I was thinking about it, I couldn't understand. I was like, wow, I must be really sucky or something. Like, what is, what's going on with this, with this dream? And when I was verbalizing it to my husband, I was realizing a lot of times the Lord will help me realize the meaning of things while I'm sharing it. And I'm telling my husband... And I was like, oh my gosh, like I get it. So I was laughing with this woman because I was so filled with this comfort and knowing and joy that I couldn't for the life of me understand why she was so miserable over these fleshly and worldly things. And I was laughing because they were ridiculous. And I felt like, I just felt this, um this knowing and then uh with the whole antagonizing these two teenage girls 
I realized what I was actually doing in the dream was I was, I was, I was going into battle. I had a boldness, a boldness of the Lord. And I was trying to manifest these, these demons out of them and go to battle. And uh, when I ran and jumped on top of that car, that was this bold leap that I took. And I was filled. And I know it sounds like arrogance. Um, I know it sounds like cockiness. But, uh, Christ, Christian boldness often gets misconstrued with arrogance and cockiness. You know, they thought Jesus was arrogant. They thought Paul was arrogant. They thought Peter was arrogant. Which in their flesh, <laughs> Peter and Paul, <laughs> you know, were. But when they were filled with the Holy Spirit, it was a different ball game. The boldness with the Lord. It is a different ball game. And I knew that the Lord that in this dream the Lord was putting this boldness in me and preparing me for battle. Whew, thank you. Thank you, Lord. So there's that I wanted to share and then also I was in the middle of talking to my husband we did this Bible book group last night and we were talking to all these different people and we've been reading this book um, we're like halfway through chapter 3 called uh, Prophetic Spiritual Warfare and these people are all from different states and we're doing this book club right now and we were all talking back and forth and this one man he was talking, and while he was talking, I was looking over his head, and I saw a cross. And I felt this burning inside of me, like I needed to say it. And I knew that the Lord wanted me to say it. And right before I went to say it, the Lord told me to tell him that he was on the right path. And so right when he stopped talking and I had my chance to say something, I said, you have a cross over your head, and you're on the right path. And I felt such a relief, such a relief. And there were some other people on there. I could, I felt that there were some spirits around them that um, were causing a disturbance, that they uh, were kind of, you know, questioning what had happened. But I paid no attention to them. I felt like the Lord was telling me to keep my eyes on this gentleman. And I was just keeping my eyes on him and smiling and I felt so filled with the Holy Spirit and I was trying to push that towards him and it was such an intense moment for me and I was talking I brought it back up today to my husband and I was about to say something different but the Lord brought these words out of me and I was like you know what I've learned like recently and I was about to say something different. This is what the Lord brought to me. When I act, he activates. When I act, he activates. So I want to tell this to any of you out there who have prophetic gifts um, of any kind. The Lord's coming to you. Whatever your gifts are. And you feel, you know, if you know the Lord's voice and you have that relationship with him, act. When he tells you something, be obedient. Because when you act, he activates. And whoa, whoa. There is an elevation happening. There is an elevation happening. And when I was on my way home with my husband just now, I was sitting there and I heard shift in the body of Christ. So there's a shift in the body of Christ right now. And now, so I had an unintentional fasting today for the first half of my day. Uh, and you know, I, I kind of just assumed that, you know, fasting only works when it's intentional. And maybe for the most part that's so, but I'm going to tell you guys right now, I. I unintentionally fasted the first half of the day today and I was starting to feel dizzy I, I have vertigo um, so I was starting to feel dizzy I felt I was like oh my blood sugar is probably dropping I gotta get something in my stomach we're waiting to eat 
I'm just not feeling very good. We get our food, I start eating a little bit, and I felt something. I was like, I felt something strong in my spirit. I was like, there is something huge happening today. I don't know what. I have no idea what. All I know is that something huge is happening today. Also, what I do know is there's a shift in the body of Christ. There's an elevation. Many of us um, are going to be elevated. And I felt that. I felt that with me. I felt that with my husband. I was like, you know, when we were in that book group last night and I spoke out what I felt the Lord was telling me and I spoke it out with confidence I felt like something was activated in that moment I feel like there's new prophetic gifts that are being awakened inside of me that I never had before and even earlier when we went out to eat for lunch I was sitting there and I'm eating and I feel like the Lord's telling me there's someone in this room who needs me I was like okay I was like do I need to like get up and say something to somebody like whoa you know I said and I felt the Lord tell me you need to pray for this person I was like okay who is this person and I'm looking around the room trying to like figure out who it is and I I, I didn't know who it was I felt him saying just pray for this person you don't need to go up and say anything to anyone but there's someone in this room who needs me and I want you to pray for them. So I stopped and I started praying for them. We left and I told my husband about it and my daughter was in the back seat and she heard and she started praying for them too. She's so precious. So I feel like something big is happening. Something big is changing. Um, also, guys, we are so close. We are so close. We are we are right there we are right there now i've been feeling for a long time now that when this you know what gets pushed on young children all around that the lord is going to come in that time now it's difficult for me to put a stamp on something um I try to be really careful with that. I really, really do. So, you know, take it to the Lord yourself. This is uh, not, this is not something I'm trying to prophesy specifically. This is something that I just have a feeling about. So take it with a grain of salt. But I've been feeling that the Lord is going to come when that happens. And I just read yesterday that CDC is trying to push the, the, um, it rhymes with Schneiser, um, on to children ages between 5 and 11. And I saw that, and there was like a little blip in me that was like, ugh. But like the majority of me was just so excited because I'm like, yes, so like, Lord, you are, you're right like around the corner. Like it's like, we're here, you're there. Like, bing. So all good things, all good things. I just want to share that, um, but you know, the phrase I'm going to go with for today is, uh, when you act, he activates. So keep an ear out. The Lord is elevating the body of Christ right now. There's a shift in the body of Christ. So that's all I got. God bless. Love you guys. Bye.